Hi guys, my name's Nicole. Um, I teach business at Brooklyn's College. I've worked there for about 12 and a half years now. Um, I've also, I also run my own um, photography business. So today I'm going to talk to you about lighting, um, which is important for photography, um, as photography actually means light drawing in Greek. Um, and, but it's also useful in uh, things like media and art as well. Um, so to really understand light, you need to be aware of how it falls and whereabouts it, it falls, um, especially in media and film and TV, that kind of thing. Um, it's really important that you understand it because sometimes it aids uh, a feeling or a sense of um, danger. So uh, sometimes if something's really dark, it's probably a horror film. Um, the media department might kill me for this. Um, and light and airy and all very natural, maybe a bit more of a light-hearted film. Um, so today I'm going to look at what different types of lights there are. Lighting, um, although it seems quite simple, it's quite complex and it, if you use it right, then you can get some really, really good effects. Um, so I'm just gonna, at the moment, I've got no lights on me um, at all. Um, I'm actually in a room where there are no uh, windows. So it's uh, really important that I know if I was to sit the other side of the room, which I'm going to do just now, um, it's a lot darker um, and there's a bit of light here, which is a little bit wishy-washy. I think I look a little bit redder. Um, so it's not, you need to know where the, to get the best out of your lighting. Um, so light, as I said, lighting um, comes in different colors. So daylight um, is different to a tungsten light and it's all, um, you get different effects. So you might have taken pictures before where you look quite orange or around you, everywhere looks a bit orange. Um, they're usually artificial lights, um, but you can use that to your advantage as long as you know um, how to use it. Um, so I generally don't take photos with the main light on. Um, but I will show you a light that I do use occasionally. So I use this light. So it's a pinkish kind of light. So you get kind of, you can use that and get a different kind of hue on your, um, on your face or maybe an object you're taking photographs of. Um, I'm gonna walk in my kitchen and all of a sudden my face is gonna brighten up a bit the sun's right there it looks a bit yellowy um, it's not a good thing to stand in front of the light um, if the sun was really behind me um, really sort of like at midday you wouldn't see my face at all um, the whole reason I got into photography was because I wanted to know how to make a shadow so a silhouette um, that's how you do it so you have direct sunlight or direct light behind you and then everything else because you've got no light on your face, it's all behind you, so it's all dark. Um, I've also got um, some lighting from above, um, and so big windows over there, and a big window. Okay, so the sun's a little bit stronger now. I'm gonna show you how we can bounce um, some light onto uh, this object. Okay, so like me, the sun is behind it, so you can see where there's a really long shadow um, falling over, to, over onto the worktop. Okay, so I've just got some normal A4 printer paper. Okay, um, and to bounce light, so if you were taking a portrait, um, you can just use a bigger bit of paper or um, tape some together and you can just see where the light is falling. This is what I'm talking about, having actually knowing what your, where the light's coming from. Okay, so that's the bright sunshine there through some trees, so it's not really that direct. Um, okay, so that's it without any infill. And then, 
So you can see that I have bounced the sunlight from my piece of paper and I'm bouncing it back onto the cat's face. Okay, so I could make it more up there. With that though, if you see, you can see it in my window. Okay, but if you do just this, then you can't. It doesn't actually feel like it's a lot doing a lot, but when you put the paper away, you can see how much that makes a difference. Okay, if you are thinking that you are, um, you're in the shot, so with the window, the sun is moving obviously, but not as quick as you want to capture your image. Okay, um, you could move your object, but what I would suggest is why don't you move? Yeah, so photography isn't a, we sit down and we do some stuff. Um, it is very, uh, it's up and about and it's physical um, as well. Uh, so I hope you've found that um, informative. Hi guys, my name's Nicole. I teach on the business course. I also run my own photography business. Um, I know you all know how to do selfies, but I was just... Um, thought I'd let you know how to do selfies without a filter. Um, maybe we can all look a little bit better. Uh, so there are a couple of things that are really important. Um, so obviously the angle that which you are shooting, background, what you've got in your frame. Um, so the frame is the whole of your image. Um, so you need to be just aware. Uh, you've all seen those photos where there's something in the background that someone hasn't realized, um, all that sort of stuff. There's a really um, good tip as well, especially for those of us that are older, but it works really well with younger people as well. So you want to have the camera at a higher angle. No one looks good like this ever, okay? So you don't wanna be shooting up, okay? Um, you always wanna be shooting from a higher angle down, um, potentially at an angle. Okay, so that's my cat meowing. Um, so that is really the top tip. Um, if you are, you don't always have to um, be in portrait. So this um, way you can shoot this way as well. Um, that's absolutely fine. It looks good as well. Um, just be careful because you're going to get more of your background in. One thing I would say as well is just be careful that you're not standing in front of something that looks like you've got a plant hanging off your head or growing out of the top of your head, okay? Make sure that um, you haven't got any of your mum's washing or ironing in the background. That doesn't look good either, okay? So we can all look better even without filters. Okay, so there's just a few top tips that I'll recap. So always shoot from slightly above um, and with, don't shoot like this because you get all weird things on your face and you potentially, if you had something white on, you could just look like a floating head. Um, make sure that you're aware of everything that's in your um, uh, shot, so nothing growing out of your head. Um, and no washing, uh, little brothers or sisters, things that you don't want in your image in, in, uh, in view. Okay, so I'm going to do a live uh, chat during the week uh, and we're going to talk about lighting. So I'll talk more about lighting and how you can use the lighting that we have available um, to make your images better. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys, so that's the end of my uh, live um, lesson. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments um, and I'll try and answer some. What I would really like is if you, would just I'm doing this all on my phone, so if you could go and um, try it out, take some photos, see where the light is and take a photo, see what interesting sh uh, shapes the sun makes when you put objects in front of it, 
um, and put them in the comments. I'd be really interested to see them. Um, so yeah, good luck. Bye bye. Hi, I'm the Britland Tutor from Brooklyn's College. My name's Christian and I'm going to show you in this short video how to attach corner blocks onto a string line ready to use to lay bricks to the line. And I'm going to show you how to attach this string line which is wrapped around these footprint pins onto the corner block so you can use it to secure the string line onto the end of your wall. This is one type of corner block we use at college. This is the other type. We're going to use this type today. So you pass the string line through the middle so you've got about 18 inches worth of line going through the middle of the corner block. You then wrap it around the front. Like that. You then take up the excess on the ends and put it through there. This can now be locked off and can be secured onto your wall profile ready to build. Thank mm -hmm. you.